Ladies and gentlemen, we're right back where we left off. I'm going to... Oh, you got it. Okay, I was going to say, I'll move this Volvo. Kyle is off. Weed whacking. Killing trees. Killing small trees. Clearing the land for us to, to... And we will replant this. This will become a forest again someday. I think we're actually at a point where we need to kill some of these rocks. Okay, I'll get the, uh, I'll buy the, if you want to go grab it, I'll buy the rock breaker. And then I guess we'll just have to, for now, I guess until we can get some other options for dealing with it, uh, we'll use this uh, Volvo loader. Yep. And we'll load it into that little Volvo dump truck, and we'll just pour it, like, off to the side. Yeah. Just to consolidate that mess. Yep. There we go. Or we could load it into that green tipper. See this tipper here? We could load this up. Oh, yeah. And Because that could be on a, hooked onto a faster tractor. We could actually take it and sell it. All right, I'm going to deliver a load to the lumber mill or to the pond, the container thingy. So I'll be back. I think when I get back, Kyle, I'm going to try to sell off that almost full carton also, our brown carton, because it looks pretty full. Or should I just wait well, till it's full full? I, I wait till it's full full. Use every inch of it. Yeah. All right, we are off with the load. I'll see you guys when we get up to the sell point. We have arrived at our sell point. We don't own the mill yet, so there's no operations going on there, but there we can see a nice 81,000 that time. That was a nice sell. I think the last one was 75, so that was a, an increase. And so now we're going to head back. And uh, start all over again. Kyle's racing the Massey up. I'm taking this back up to the mill. I've, I've taken a shortcut trying to catch up with Kyle. Still beat me. This thing is so freaking slow. We don't own that one, so we can't put a worker in it to let right, drive. Right. <laughs> Somebody said there's a way to, to make it so that you can. I tried to do it. They, they said, like, you reset one of them or something like that. But even when I do that, you can't do it to any of them. I don't know. Maybe there's a loophole where you just park it on a piece of <clears> property <throat> that you don't own yet. And then when you buy it, you end up with the, with the machine. That could be. I'm going to grab a cough drop here. Sorry, guys. All right, so we'll see you in a couple minutes, folks. We're going to, well, Kyle's already on the way up there. I'll we're be there be half really, an hour later. We're, we're about to be really bored for 10 minutes. That's right, at least. <laughs> so you made 800 bucks from those rocks, right? How full was the trailer? Like half full. Okay. I'm very slowly Oops. making my way up the hill. Now, can we, do we figure out if the Massey was two-seater or not? Uh, like, technically there's another seat in there, but not for really. this game, no. <laughs> okay. So I'll ride back with you. I'm just going to leave the Volvo. Is there is there stuff up here for you to scoop into the, the Massey? Yeah. Okay. All of a thousand. Look at your little pea head. Baby is all clean. She's got Johnson and Johnson's seal of approval. What? What happened? I want to go towards that thing. There we go. Glitch. Yeah. I'm, I'm coming up the peak. Oh, this is going to take forever. 
I'm in Doctor 631. Nah, it shouldn't be too bad. I've loaded the whole stack in like five minutes when it's like all the way full. That thing just steers weird. This special is brought to you by Volvo. Making weird machinery since the 1940s. Well, taking standardized equipment and making it super confusing. <laughs> uh, the Europeans and their fancy stuff. And their fancy smanchy stuff. That thing is cool. I do like that front loader. That's another one of those, like, good for potatoes, good for silage, that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's it's good for the bulk. Yep. Definitely not something I'd rely on, you know, at a mine. Exactly. All right, I'm going to head back to the site. I'll, be, I'll see you guys on the other side. I'll see you in a few moments, Kyle. Have fun. All right. I'm going to cut some logs down with our awesome log harvester. arrived all right folks so last ride up to the mill for this for this episode and we should we should have enough to buy the mill or more equipment so what do you think kyle should we go for the mill at this point honestly like i'm i'm starting to think we need a bigger tractor <laughs> this massey's just not cutting it anymore <laughs> get it cutting it um okay so in the sale we have in sales right now we've got a, a john deere 8r that is 42 percent off it's got um little, what engines in there it's got a 326 horsepower engine and it has the ability it has the three-point hitch on the front I mean, that would be, that'd be the best bet. Buy it as is. All right. Why don't you go ahead and trade in the Massey for it? 
Because this, this thing is just having a hard time pushing around that. that uh, and it's only going to get worse. So, hey, I mean, we're talking, looking at maybe you should be able to get close. How much was that? A hundred? So hopefully it'll pull in 60 or 70. Well, isn't it if I paint it, it's worth more? Yeah, definitely fix it all up. No, ah, I'm sorry. Don't worry about the maintenance, but the painting, yes. So, repaint. Woof. This thing will sell for 84. There we go. All right. So under used vehicles, there's a Fent. And there's also a John Deere. The problem with the Fent is it's one of those that does not have the hitch on the front. Yeah. Well, it's it's one of those tractor monstrosities. That thing will take forever to get anywhere, so. Yeah. But that 8R is more than enough. Right. There we go. Oh, my gosh. It's so much bigger. <laughs> this thing <laughs> is so big. But that's a good deal. I saw that thing sitting in the shop, and I've been thinking about it ever since I saw it. I was like, man, that would be a, that's a good deal for a big tractor. So I think that was the right decision. I'll be back. All right. Time to sell another trailer load, Kyle. Let's see what we get. Kachong, eighty-five thousand dollars. Yeah. Either the market price is going up, or that one was just absolutely the fullest ever. We probably just filled it up better because it's about a thousand dollars difference. <laughs> There's those giant sequoias. All right, guys. So I'm gonna head back to town. We will see you momentarily. We'll take a look at the new John Deere. And I'm thinking before we end this episode, why don't we sell that other trailer now? Because that thing's pretty full too, isn't it? It's to like 79. It won't fill up all the way though, will it? Oops. Uh, well, I guess we might as well sell it before it's like so outrageously heavy that We'll never de get, you know, have the equipment to deal with it. Right. So let's see. Where did you let's let's see this new tractor you got? Oh yeah. Yeah, I, that was a good deal. I I, I couldn't. I mean, that's like almost tri almost half price. Yeah, it's forty two percent off. Somewhat used, but it's like driving a small house. Let's see, hang on. Nope, second seat doesn't work. Oh, well. Um, should I throw these logs into that trailer to kind of fill it up? Or no? Just uh, leave them. No, because those are good logs. Okay. I don't want to mix those into trash. Now we need to figure out how to get that thing on the trailer. Well, I'm going to try the front loader first and see if it'll do it. I don't know that it will. But it might. Let us see what happens. I don't know. I know the big one will, but I don't know if this one will. The big one will lift anything, but this one, I, it just may not be big enough. But we'll see. If I can maneuver it, keeping it low, it might work. It's only 17,000 pounds. Oh, God. 
Sure, it's going to work great. He says as it flips. <laughs> Kyle, stand on the back. And you would not believe how many times using that tactic has worked in the army. Standing on the back of it? Yeah. Oh my god, that's like, hilarious. All, all we need is this skid steer to just do one lift and we can all go home. And so we're like, you know what? At this point, any Stand. means necessary. Stand on the back. And so like, there'll be six of us standing on the back of a bobcat as it drives around trying to put a a uh, quad connex on a trailer. <laughs> If I could just get it to turn a little bit. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know. Wow. You know what, Kyle? Oh. Can, you grab, can you grab the uh, the front loader from the shop? The car, the, what do you call it? The, oh, the forklift? Yeah, let's see if we can't t tag team it. Have a little help from my friends. Oh, I gotta walk over to it. What would you do? If I sang out of tune, would you stand up and walk out on me? Let me get in, I sing you some. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, can you get your forks out of it? Ooh. So I have an idea. You, oh, you're in it. Okay. Let me line up with the road. Oh, are you able to actually move it? Look at that. All right. So. Try to push from the top. Here's what we're going to do, and it's going to be super duper iffy. Back the trailer underneath it. Uh, get uh, uh, the big Volvo, the excavator. Okay. You're gonna push down on the back of the forklift, oh, yeah. and we're gonna well, we're gonna lift this thing up, clean up and over the uh, try this over first. the tractor, and drive under it. Try try this first. Lift it a bit. Uh, whoa, see, whoa, it, whoa! Yeah, see, That's it not... pushes it. Yeah. If we can get it up a little bit, I should be able to back the trailer underneath it. Let me try well, this with this. Hang on. Well, I was just saying, if you can pin me down with the Volvo. The yeah, and one. then it won't go right. Uh, okay, so hold on. Let me. I wonder if I can use the back of the Volvo to pin you down. Uh... Because I've gotten stuck underneath it before. Well, try not to. Hmm. See. Lift. Nope. Okay. So. Tank turn. <laughs> You try. Oh. Um. Uh, 
<laughs> Try <it> again. <laughs> hey! <laughs> all right, stop, stop, stop. Okay, well, I mean, or go all the way. Yeah. Drive under. Because I don't want to try backing up that obnoxious No, trailer. no, no, I wouldn't either, yeah. Come on, start. At some point, this mating ritual is going to fail. We need to do this. <laughs> it's already vibrating. Let me know when I'm in place. It's hard to tell. I mean, close enough. is good enough for government work. Pull the trailer. Pull the trailer? Okay. Yeah. And right there. Good. All right. Fasten it. No, because it'll it'll grab onto the forks. Okay. So, so now you gotta unmate exit. the Volvo, so I can get out. <laughs> I cannot believe that worked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get her done. That was amazing. That was a little piece of farm sim history. Was that recorded? Oh yeah, that was recorded. <laughs> Thank goodness, yes. Well, let's see what this thing was worth. I'm gonna go take dream it up. Work makes the dream work. Actually, do you mind if I steal the John Deere for this? Yeah, go ahead. It'll go faster. Let's try out the new tractor, guys. Oops. I mean, this is going to sell for a decent amount. Yeah, I mean, that's at least, you know, 30 to 40. <laughs> yeah. So maybe what we do is we buy a bolster next. A bolster. And like a like a standard logging trailer. Um, and, and one container. We keep the container on this flatbed for now and we use the bolster trailer for logs and then the flatbed for the scraps. And we start moving towards the sawmill style operation because the sawmill is going to need, uh, the bolster trailer. It's not going to take, the sawmill does not take the cargo containers. Does that make sense? Yeah. So we start moving the whole operation towards. This tractor is freaking awesome. I think I bought it Euro style, though I did. I, I, I meant to change it over to the US style and I kept it Euro. We can fix it later. Well, I'm not worried about it. I mean, it's, it is used, so. True, true that. Um, we bought I just, it as <laughs> is. It's achieving the mission. I cannot believe we got that to work. <laughs> I can believe it, but I also can't believe it. Ooh, he jumped. This thing's got some horsepower. All right, my guesstimate is sixty thousand. Fifty-four. Oh, close. That was close. Still, that puts us in a pretty good position. We have almost two hundred thousand dollars. So whatever the next load is, we should be able to buy the sawmill. However, I'm thinking we buy the bolster trailer now. So then comes the question. At this time, do we want to buy a semi-truck with the bolster trailer? Well, I mean, we can get longer logs. 
for the mill. Yeah. Hold on. Um. So we can do much longer logs. The problem is, is we're going to end up with probably a lot more waste at the same time. Yeah, but we can still sell that as container loads. Yeah. So there's but I mean, not... like the, the the pieces will be longer because, like, we might yeah. end up with a twelve foot pe or a twelve meter piece, but then we're going to get stuck with a ten meter piece. Yeah. I mean, I still don't see that as too much of a problem. I mean, unless we're willing to go back and like do recuts and stuff. Nah. To, you know, so if it spits out a piece that's long enough to do smaller balance chunks, then pick it up, yeah. cut it into smaller, safer pieces. I'm not too worried about that. So what do you think? Should we move to semi-truck? I mean, we'll keep this set up, too. We'll use this for the extra trailer, for the extra, um, like, scrap. Actually, isn't there, doesn't, isn't one of the logging trailers, one of the new ones, uh, can't you set it up to do, like, three sets of six or something? What meanest thou? Okay, so the the extensions, you can set it for a 2 by 6 meter. And so it's got two racks to hold 6 meter logs. Let me see. Oh, you're talking about the flatbed. Well, no, there's a timber trailer semi. Okay, let me look here. From Schwarzmüller. Timber, and that's under under what? Forestry equipment? Forestry, forestry equipment in the accessories or attachments. Timber trailer semi. And then in the extension thing, you set it for two by six, and it gives you two racks to load. So you'd fill up the first one and then fill up the second one. I see what you're saying. And so that you way put, we, can keep... we just keep using sixes, but do double sixes on this? Yeah. And that way we can just take the whole trailer in all at once. And I feel like that thing would actually hold more than the container. Yeah. Um, or... Oh, that's what that does. Okay. Well, that's a pointless contraption. That's a pointless thing. Man, you can save a ton of money by turning off all the pointless options it gives you. Oh, like the mud flaps and stuff? Yeah. Spare wheel and all that other nonsense. So, $43,000. So, you, you think this is supposed to get you two six-foot sections of log? Yeah. Or one 12 foot section. Yeah, you could do one 12 foot section or 12 meter section. But I mean, like, you have all the options of like four threes, three fours, two sixes. I I'm see. guessing when you, have, oh, when you have it on the six, I you can see. do 12s. Three four meter. Oh, okay. Four three meter. So two, okay. Oh, it just gives you more, okay. So yeah, if, it changes the arrangement of the... I'd rather cut them 12s, and then if we need to load them into that other thing, just cut them in half by hand. Does that make sense? And I just hate to waste wood. I mean, we could always, we cut the 12, we just get a bunch of 12s until this thing is full. And then maybe any piece that doesn't fit on here, we cut it down to sixes, shove the sixes in a connex, and 
have a, yet another Connex for trash. Or just load them later. Yeah, or just keep all the sixes and load them later. Yeah. So that brings up the question then, because, okay, so I think we're probably going to have to do two by sixes. And here's why. We don't have the front loader capable of lifting 12s. Uh, I think this BM could, but we'll have to buy that uh, that individual log grabber. And do one at a time? Yeah, which is really all we're going to be able to work with anyway. Okay. Anything else we need to do here? Design color, rim color, it's all fine. All right. Well, and then there's also what truck? That could be, we could go on forever on that. Um, do you do, have any I, preferences? I mean, just purely on an aesthetic thing, I love that cab over Volvo, the Globetrotter. The, the Globetrotter. I was going to say that's. <laughs> I've got that one highlighted already. Uh, okay. And then take Corn. off all those additions that mean nothing. What's the wheel setup? Wide. I do like the design, though. We don't really need. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. The design's got to stay. Mud flaps. Don't need them. Uh, Capacity. probably put, put the wide tires on. We all set up. I think the engine's fine. I yeah, can't think of a be. reason to upgrade. Rim color. No, we'll do. Well, yeah, rim color. It's going to match our bolster trailer. Chrome. Ouch. What's the, um, let's go ahead and put the bigger fuel tank on it. You think? I would. <laughs> we got, we have zero money left. Chassis color. That's better. I, I, I mean, I do kind of like that white chassis. It's that's ugly. That's ugly. You do I like the chassis could, color? I kind of figure out. I kind of wish I could figure out what's going on with that suspension on that rear axle. Holy moly! There's a lot of control arms and all kinds of wacky nonsense going on. Oh yeah, look at that! All for st all in the name of stability. Hmm. Just coming up with a last idea here. Hold on. Oh, speaking of cab overs, I actually saw one yesterday. Like somebody was using it to do work. Yeah, I see them here and there, mostly out in farm in the far, uh, farmer country. I see farmers yeah. still using them to, to haul grain this was and on stuff. Main Street through Farmington. A Once cab in a over. while. Yep. And I was like, oh, wow, I haven't seen one of those, like, actually moving in, like, on Deca purpose in decades. a couple decades. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Let's see. That looks cool. Boy, this thing better have multi-seat operations. It does. Hop on in. Oh, did you already buy it? Yep. We've moved up in the world to actual trucking for our logging. Oh, yeah, you said we need this, too. Hang on. Can I get into it while I'm... Yeah. Uh, well, no, I was hoping I could tab into it. I think... I'm not sure if you Let's can tab into it. vehicle as passenger. Look at that. There we go. <laughs> Sweet. Emotion. So we've got the truck now. So our next goal is to get the sawmill. Do we still sell logs where we were selling the containers, or do we have to sell them to... Uh, uh, no, they go into the pond. Or, or they can go next door, though, too. They're, hang on, I'll talk you over. So until we buy our own sawmill, 
we can sell them over here. Never trust her. Never trust Arthur driving. I don't have a choice. <laughs> I love this truck. It is, I mean, you really don't see these in America ever, but there's probably a couple somewhere. I'm sure someone brought one in. We see Volvo, but we don't see these. I hate the fact that the entrance is, like, on the other side of the map. I always just drive on the railroad tracks. I can't be bothered to drive all the way around this facility. Sorry. Wait, is that the is entrance? That yeah, that's it. Uh, no, that's not the good one. Don't tell anyone. So, on the other side of this platform, see that exclamation mark? Not where the train box is, but like in the middle of the platform? Yeah. That's the sell spot for logs. All right. So, you could do it there, or you can take them up to the sawmill and put them in the pond. There's also a couple industries that take raw logs in town. And I believe the paper mill also one. does. Let's see here. Yeah, you have to check oh, and see which one is the best price. Hey, Vi, can you turn that down, honey? Um, nowhere just talks about taking in logs, but I guess that's understandable since you sell them as a varied length object right so I guess it's wherever we feel like selling it but yeah. I mean, if we sell there it's closer so we're not having to make a correct huge unnecessary journey that's that's my thought on it so good so we'll move up to size 12 logs and uh, and then we can also fill up that bolster with six footers or scrap. We can hand cut them down. And I, the log grappler is at the um, shop if you want to grab it. I'm cleaning up some rocks. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know we had fun making it. Um, Kyle, you want to say good night? All right, everybody. And uh, we will see you on the next exciting episode of our empire as we grow it. And sh uh, slowly but surely, the empire is growing. Though our finances bum, don't look like it now, but we have a... Bum, 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 bum. Oh, wrong empire. <laughs> this is the empire of goodness. Not the empire of evil. Not Darth Vader's empire. Um... So, we are going to continue to grow. Tomorrow we should have some steel mill goodness, goodies to sell. And eventually we'll buy a trailer that can actually just trailer that stuff from the steel mill so we can take the semi up there and get it instead of having to drag it around with tractors. But, um, in fact, I'm not going to put a container on our, our John Deere yet until we really need it uh, because we have... Uh, um, Tomorrow we're going to have the, the steel to pick up and, and sell. So we will park this over here for now and keep it empty so we can load steel rolls onto it. This trailer is going to get a lot of use. All right, ladies and gentlemen, have a great night. Be sure to subscribe, thumbs up, voice up, and we'll see you tomorrow during the day. Good night. Night, everybody. See you next time.